Many people have had trouble falling asleep during the pandemic, and millions have resorted to an over-the-counter remedy. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us that the melatonin you might be taking could actually be harmful. Stop me if any of this sounds familiar. Somebody out there, please help me to sleep. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm still wide awake. And those YouTube insomniacs have even more company than they used to, judging from what Mount Sinai sleep specialist Dr. Naomi Shaw is seeing. Uh, we're seeing a lot more patients uh, coming through for sleep-related care, uh, primarily for insomnia. Dr. Shaw attributes a lot of this to pandemic-related stress and anxiety, and most of her patients have sought help from over-the-counter melatonin. So about 95% of the times, patients who report having insomnia have tried melatonin over the counter um, at some point, and in a majority of them, it has not been effective. Ineffective because melatonin only works for short term treatment of what's called circadian rhythm misalignment, like jet lag. Worse, a new study in the Journal of the American Medical Association finds that some melatonin users are taking dangerously high amounts for extended periods, which can lead to problems ranging from headache and dizziness to confusion, irritability, and depression. And because the FDA is prohibited from regulating supplements like melatonin, those pills may not contain what the label says. Most of the evidence shows that it ranges anywhere from having none to about 400% of what is listed on the, on the label. It's important to realize that melatonin is not an herb or a vitamin. It's a psychoactive hormone that should not be taken without a doctor's guidance. If you suffer from insomnia, Go to our website for some tips that will help you catch those elusive Z's. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.